Hello everybody, my name is Ilya Budik. I'm the CEO of NeuroQuest. And I'm very excited to tell you about the exciting technology that we're developing today. As many of you are unfortunately aware of through your families, through your loved ones, the effects of Alzheimer's is an extremely debilitating disease and affects many people throughout the world. So let's take a look. Beyond our own knowledge of how it affects our families and our loved ones, we know that today about 5.1 million people in the U.S. alone are affected by Alzheimer's and about a million additional patients every single year. That means that the diagnostic market alone for this disease is about $2.8 billion. Um, what this translates to is about one in eight people over the age of 65. So this is a very well-known and very aggressive disease. Currently, there is no available early accurate diagnosis. Today, the doctors have to wait until late stage development where they can actually use a psychiatric examination to see the symptoms that have developed. And even then, only postpartum do we know for sure if somebody actually has Alzheimer's. Doctors in the US, throughout Europe, in fact, the US Surgeon General and the head of the NHS in the UK have said that a top three need for bettering the treatment is an early accurate diagnostic. So that's what we're looking to develop. Patients need something like this with their families to better understand how, how to treat themselves and how to plan for the future because early on, while the patient is still functioning, they can actually make life choice decisions with their family while in the later terms of development, it's, it's no longer possible. Doctors need it to give patients more options for treatment and the health system as a whole is aware that if they don't know how many people are out there, they don't know how to properly plan, budget, and accommodate those patients. On an independent track, there's over 50 clinical trials currently being, uh, being run for therapeutics in Alzheimer's. And you can imagine the difficulty in actually understanding, does my drug work if there's no accurate way to diagnose or even monitor? So what we are looking to work also with therapeutics developers to further on the, the treatment and not just the diagnosis of Alzheimer's. NeuroQuest technology is based on 20 years of research by Professor Michal Schwartz. Uh, Michal has been working to build a better link and understanding between the immune system and the central nervous system and has shown that as the immune system degenerates with age, there is a direct correlation and causation between the de degeneration of the central nervous system. She's identified specific markers which are T cells. And as their count goes down with age, she's able to, she has shown with transgenic mice with Alzheimer's that as those markers go down, Alzheimer's goes up. She was, she was even able to artificially put in extra amounts of these T cells into the mice and, and draw back the signs of the disease. So there is even indicators that down the road we may be able to use these markers and this technology in the therapeutic area as well. I should mention that we have exclusive rights to the technology which has been developed in the Weizmann Institute and will be and the file and the new patents which are developing will be exclusively owned by us as well. Recently we're very excited to have proof of concept not simply in, in transgenic mice but in humans as well. In our recent study we showed an 85% specificity and accuracy in diagnosing and we are disease specific. This is very exciting for us. This means that as opposed to the best other things which are being developed currently, which is uh, beta amyloid tracers within PET scans, which only are correlated to Alzheimer's. This is a disease-specific diagnosis. Independently, we, are also, we also have one additional biomarker for ALS, which is Lou Gehrig's disease, which also has a therapeutic potential as well. We believe that this will be our second pipeline uh, pending the success of an Alzheimer's. Um, again, this is, we believe this is an early diagnostic, and we have shown signs in, in our first proof of concepts to show that, and, and we believe it will also be able to be a, to monitor success and monitor progression of the disease, a tool that doctors need just as much as they need to diagnose the disease in general. Currently, our funding goals are to bring in about $1.8 million. We're working with Dr. Jacobo Mincer, who is a clinical trial specialist in Alzheimer's from the Medical University of South Carolina to develop uh, our pre-ID meeting with the FDA and to develop a 50 to 60 patient trial in the U.S. to further our results and to build the necessary case to go with to regulatory approval. We're very excited to, to do this and we're also partnering and, and looking to partner with uh, additional pharmas to help them develop their therapeutics and to get involved with additional ongoing large-scale trials to really prove the, the benefits of our, our technology and to show how early we can possibly diagnose. Uh, there's also an optional addition of another million dollars to move forward with validation clinical trials for the ALS technology. 
Of course, I've talked only in brief about everything that's going on in the company. There's a lot of things, a lot of details about all this. And if any of you have questions or like to meet and discuss other opportunities to get involved or simply ask, please feel free to, to get involved. All the best. Thank you very much.